All right, what's up, y'all? Today I'm gonna try something a little different. So I'm gonna actually try to do <clears throat> like a budget fishing kit challenge, something like that. So I'm here at Walmart, and I'm gonna go go in and see what fishing kits they have. I'm hoping that they have something with like worms and lizards or something like that. Uh, just because a lot of the ponds around here are grassy, so I don't think I really want to get one of like crankbaits or anything like that. Um, I've seen some of those in the past, but yeah, I'm gonna go hop in here and I'm gonna see what fishing kits they have, and I'll show you guys what I get when I come back out. But it's probably the coldest day, um, and def definitely in months here. Uh, the storm happened yesterday, so there was a big storm and rained pretty much all day yesterday and all night. And today's just overcast all day, but no no chance of rain, so. I'm really hoping that they'll be biting today. Um, yeah, I'll let you guys know. I'll let you guys know which fishing kit I choose. I'll show you guys on the way out. See y'all later. All right, I got the kit, and I actually ended up. I'm already at the pond. Um, I just wanted to go ahead and get here, and then I'll. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and show y'all what I got. Um, Cause I don't know if I'm gonna need to bring out a terminal tackle or not I'm hoping I can just bring the kit uh, and it'll have everything with it so I ended up getting the mystery tackle box bass fishing kit and I originally wanted like I've seen that they have like yum uh, like I've seen people do the one with worms lizards and crawls in it uh, but the only one they had there was like a crawl one but it didn't have that many options and then there was like a Senko one that had three different color Senkos. So I was like, you know what? This should look like the best option. Uh, it's probably going to have some baits with treble hooks in it, which I'm not really looking forward to just because this pond is grassy. Uh, but we'll see what we got in here. Another box. It's great. Mystery tackle box. They had a trout fishing kit as well, but obviously that's not what we're here for. So, but with the bass fishing kit. All right, so we have some excavator stand up shaky heads. Love the shaky head, so I'm definitely satisfied with that. We've got a nano jig finesse and still presentation. Like a tiny little jig. How much? 3 16 ounce. And like a brown, brown color. That will be probably a little bit difficult to cast, but it's all right. We've got some big bite baits. I uh, like little craws that's an interesting color it has like gold and blue and purple fleck that's interesting we have a bagley balsa b1 little square bill that's gonna be tough to throw in here but i guess i'll try it and then we've got some z-man trick shot meat dog drop shot worms I'm not looking forward to that one just because I have no experience in drop shots like honestly I might rig it on the shaky heads I have never thrown a drop shot once in my life and I don't think I'm going to today either so looks like I can just bring the box uh, and I should be able to throw all those baits on what's in here I already have just a plain EWG hook on my uh, mock crush, so I'm probably just gonna stick one of these baits on that to start. But yeah, pretty satisfied with the box. I think that it'll be a fairly decent, decent like difficulty on the slam. That crankbait is gonna be tough just because there's so much grass in this pond, but. It's overcast, so the fish should be roaming. So there's a chance that 
I could get bit on it pretty quick, but let's go ahead and uh, get out there and see what we can do. All right, what to start with? Put the, my cutters in here. So I already have just a plain EWG hook on here. So you know what, I might throw this on. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this Yoda worm off and put on one of these. Ooh, these are tiny. Should get bit though. Dude, I might even need this hook is actually too big for it yep that hooks gonna be way too big for this thing dang it um let me see how will that shaky head be small enough wow all right well we're gonna have to kind of improvise here You know what? This is perfect. Whoops. This would be a perfect trailer for that jig. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tie on this jig and use it as a trailer. Try and knock two baits out at once. This thing is so tiny. All right, you know what? That that might get bit. That actually doesn't look too bad. Little finesse jig, the trailer. All right. Ooh, it's a bit chilly. It's actually a little chilly out here. First cast going in. Oh, I just got bit. I'm serious. I'm pretty sure I just got bit on the way down. My jaw, my rod jerked. already got a bunch of grass that's nice I think I don't know something bumped me on the way down felt like it try that slowly bopping it swimming it over this grass might work oh my goodness One just flashed at it, y'all. Saw a big old green belly flash at it. Swimming it in. Didn't grab it though. Dang it. be so insane to catch a fish in here. No way! I got one! Unbelievable. <laughs> oh my gosh. Immediately bit. No way. 
That is unbelievable, actually. Just caught this fish in there, coming off of a main pond. Unbelievable. That is absolutely insane. I wonder if there's any more in there. Whew. All right, y'all. I think I'm gonna try this bait, which is gonna be the hardest one to fish in this pond, just because there's so much grass. So I'm going to go ahead and throw it for a little bit and see what happens. See how long I can last. I already know this is going to be pretty frustrating just because it's probably going to catch grass like every cast. Alright, we have the Bagley square bill tied on. Really hoping that we can get a fish on this fairly quickly because I know this thing's gonna get caught on grass every single cast. So I'm just hoping something will want a moving bait to bite this thing. keeping my rod tip up because I'm trying to keep it as high in the water column as I can this pond isn't that deep and that vegetation is just below the surface this thing doesn't seem like it dies very deep though if I keep it like this it's kind of right below the surface which is actually perfect for this pond so maybe I can, maybe I will be able to get bit on this. I'm not sure. Just gonna have to throw it around and see. Got one. Oh wow, it caught. It got caught on the tail right there at the last second. Go ahead and get that undone, sorry guy. Oh goodness, I'm sorry guy. There we go. Woo! Small guy. But we got it done. Fish number two on the Bagley. Wow, that was like... Let me make sure I'm recording. Okay, thank God. Wow, unbelievable. Small guy, but a fish. Wow, I am really happy to get that one out of the way because I did not think that I would be able to catch a fish that quickly on it. Okay, so. I think all we have left, yep. Came with the MTB sticker as well. That's cool. Put that on my laptop. All we have left are the shaky heads and the trick shot meat dog. So I'm actually gonna try and rig up these on the shaky head. I know that that is definitely not the ideal way to rig this bait, but 
This will knock two, bir two birds with one stone. Two baits with one rig. Well, that might be good enough because this bait isn't very long. All right, definitely not how you're supposed to rig this whatsoever, but I think it can get bit. Let's see what we can do. We can catch something on this. Going in. This will complete the slam. There's one. Oh my goodness. There's one, y'all. Biggest one yet. Biggest one today. Woohoo! That's a good fish for this pond. Heck yeah. Absolutely beautiful bass. Let's get a picture real quick. Wow. Sweet. I bit that right on the fall. Absolutely beautiful. Oh no, I hooked myself. Let's let him go. Yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and tie back on. something else in the box because this is I'm actually going to tie back on this square bill oh gosh that was super slippery Got one. Another one. Let's go. On the Bagley. Hee hoo. Let's go. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Ah. Oh, dang it. That's what I was trying to avoid. All right, I'm getting the clippers on this guy. Ow, that hurts. That hurt, that hurt, that hurt. that hurt oh my goodness get a picture real quick oh gosh I almost dropped my phone in the water
All right. Not a bad one. Let's go. Second one on the Bagley. Woo! She drew some blood on me. Yikes. That did not feel good at all. Another one. He just swiped at it. He completely just swiped at it. All right. Let's see if I can not get hooked by this guy. Come on, dude. Let me help you. Little guy. Let him go. God, some. Another one. Let's go. All right, let's see. Come on, guy. Don't play games. Oh, gosh, please. Be chill, be chill. Trying to help you. Trying to help you. Ugh, goodness. Hook is stuck. There we go. Another one. Whew. Man, they are biting today, y'all. This is why you fish after a storm. They are munching. Absolutely munching. All right, y'all. That was a very successful slam. <laughs> Ended up catching a fish on every bait and multiple fish on that uh bagley uh little square bill i was really surprised uh it didn't catch as much grass as i thought it would just because it's so shallow diving if i had my rod tip up it would probably sit like four to five inches under the water uh under the surface <clears throat> so very happy with that slam um uh, if you guys like this video please let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see more like fishing kit videos or fishing challenge videos, anything like that. And if you do want to see those, uh, give me some ideas uh, for some. So I didn't expect to get the Mystery Tackle Box bass fishing kit, but it was the best option they had at my local Walmart. So um, I can definitely look around and see what other fishing kits they have to see if maybe I would want to do another video with a different one. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't, go ahead and like and subscribe to subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.